So I was inspired today by um, Tailpiece Sangria. I was kind of like looking for colors and I saw this color. It's like a plum color and I haven't used it in so long and I love it. So I'm dedicating this video to my two favorite colors that I'm always in search for that I always have to make myself because this feels like very eggplanty and very like smoky perps. So you know what the two colors I always make are my smoky perps and my Martha Green. So I think that it would be the perfect color palette. And I'm having this vision of like negative space on a big white round and then like really deep eggplant aubergine right in the middle and like lighter colors coming up around it. So therefore what I'm gonna do today is I'm actually gonna start my layering with carbon black, which is opaque. So even though I'm gonna have a white um, pillow, I'm gonna start with the black. So when I put the purples and the deeps on top and I blow out, it will still be dark underneath and it won't lighten from the pillow. The other piggy I'm gonna be using so far is TLP Rosé. Isn't that pretty? So. It's gonna be pinks and purples and a bit of the green. So how am I gonna make, I'm gonna use like, so normally when I make my Martha green, I kind of play around with just adding um, phthalo green and zinc white. My lights are insane, too bright. Uh, phthalo green and zinc white. And it is minty, it is a little cool, and then I usually add a little something. But today for fun, I don't know if I've ever tried this green before with it. It's Jenkins green. So it's a little um, warmer than phthalo green. So I'm gonna add that with a little zinc white. Um, also, today for my smoky perps, why don't I just, I'm sure I've done this before, but I don't remember. I have this Hobine mauve, which is quite warm and red. And why don't I add a bit of bone black to it to deepen it? Uh, I don't know if we're gonna get the aubergine look. I like saying aubergine because I'm so French. Um, but I don't know, let's see. Uh, let's mix up some paints. All right, so here are the three colors we already have. Let's start, why don't we start with the Jenkins green? See what that's all about. I don't even know if I've opened it. No, she's brand new. So I'm gonna start, actually what I should do is I'm gonna start with the zinc white. So, oh, in here, I already have my Bare 8300. Why don't I add my Joe Sonia? You know I don't measure. I have a lot of consistency videos in my description. You wanna check them out? Okay, so um, I did have my stirring stick somewhere. Here we go. Let's see what we're looking like. So I'm gonna put a bunch of zinc white and like a few drops of the, the Jenkins green. Oh look, it's a new zinc white too. So organized. Okay. Blue. Okay, should be good. And, oops, well Lisa, I did not, hold on, I didn't put the cap on. <laughs> okay, let's try this again, shall I? And I'm going to do like bloop, okay? Let's see. All right. How Martha are we? Not very Martha, but I don't hate this color. But it is very more like a sage. But wait, I might enjoy this color, actually. Definitely a different vibe than the one with the phthalo green. Um... It's very, you know, I don't hate her. I might add a touch more green just to like zhuzh it up a bit, but you know what? I can't complain. I could even do a drop of the phthalo green to balance it out a bit, but let's just see what happens with the drop. Definitely sagey. So how are we looking here? Hmm. Still a little pain. I don't mind her though. I, I really don't. For fun, 
because that's why we're here. Let me do it. Oh, is this new too? Oh my goodness. Um, let's do a drop of this. I like where we're going. Very pistachio. Pistache and aubergine. It's like we're having a lunch in here. Okay. Oh, see how blue this is? Maybe I shouldn't have done that. It did deepen the color, but that phthalo green really adds a lot of blue. Eh, I don't mind it. It definitely blued it up. It cooled it. I'm gonna add one more of my Jenkins, but it's interesting to see how different those greens are and how blue that phthalo is. Phthalo turquoise is my favorite, of course, but I wanted this less cool. All right, I am very happy with this color. I think in your light, it looks quite uh, cool and blue, but it's not that in here. So let's now go with the aubergine. I don't know what's gonna happen with this. Um, why don't, so, okay. So I'm gonna do my mauve. Like, my, is my mauve already too red? No, but I want like a warm, you know, one, two, and then I'm gonna do a drop. I'm not even gonna mix it first. I'm gonna do a drop of that bone black, which is also new. Okay. And here we go. By the way, today it's a cold front here. It is minus 30, okay? I don't know, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's still, under, it's, I think still in the minuses in the Fahrenheit. It's cold. Okay, definitely see how it's like meh. It definitely needs more color. I didn't put enough of the color in it and you can hardly see the black. But I don't even think we're gonna get the desired look. I'll put more color in anyway so you can see, but I think we need a deeper purple. I always go for the Diox purple, but like that's so boring. Whatever, oops, put a little bit more. See the difference when I squeeze it out of the tube? You really want to make sure your color is pigmented. Okay, it's a pretty color. Now, let us add a couple of drops at a time of black. It would look really nice with it if this turned out really dark. Here we go. Did a few more, I've done a little drops, but whatever. Okay, it's very, it is a smoky purps. It's a very nice purple. It is, like I do see it's like shaded. So it has, it needs a bit of oomph. It's very purple, um, bland, okay? If you know what I mean. I want a drop of, I would put a drop of red if I had any red. Um, you know what I mean? It just needs a bit of a bump. Like, maybe, do I have red ink? Um, all right, let me go look for some red ink. Okay, another thing I always add, I didn't look for the ink because I just saw this, is quinacridone red. So it's going to really, I just want like, like nothing. I, it just needs like a bit of life brought to it. Okay. I don't know if it's as dark as I want, but it's getting there. You see what I mean? Like, I'm gonna put one more red and darken it even more. Am I crazy? I don't want it too red. Okay. Um. Where did I put my bone black? Here we go. Isn't it fun mixing colors? It can take time. Especially because I, you know, I have a certain color in my mind and sometimes it's hard to recreate. Sometimes you gotta go with the back and forth a bit. All right. Yes. I uh, just want more maroony, you know? Are we gonna be here forever? Bloop. 
<laughs> Bloop. I want it like the richest, you know, maybe I should add a bit of diox to it. Okay. Yep, we're getting there. You know what I mean? Hmm. All right, let's leave it for now. What do we think of this combo? I'll, I'm gonna do a swatch. I feel like it's missing something though. Let's just swatch and see what it's missing. Well, first of all, it's missing an interference, which I always do. Um, I would probably do sequins. Actually, why don't I do that now? I think I have it right here. Just so happens. Okay. So it's TLP sequins is a red interference. So you can't really see now, but you'll see over dark. So, so far we're very warm, these colors, right? Um, very pretty always oh, this is looks like my type of palette so far you know i would need a topper do i need this rose i don't think so the green so far right now is throwing me off everything else is very warm the green is still pretty cool i don't know if i need it and i don't know if i need the rose and i have to think about what i would top underneath the socks here although you know what I don't mind the green. Um, actually, maybe what it needs is another cool color. You know what I mean? Um, you know what color I was like debating, but it's probably, no, it's too much. I love this color. Hobine, sorry, we're moving furniture up there. <laughs> so loud. Cypress green, Hobine. Uh, no, that's too crazy. I can't do that, can I? I don't know. It's like, hmm, I don't want to go blues. Do I want to go green? Like, should I? Let's see what happens, right? Like, we like the Jenkins green, and it's always nice to add, um, if you're mixing colors, to add the original colors in there because you know they're gonna go. I'm just gonna do straight from my can. Bloop, just a little bloop of the 8300. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Just a little bloop of the Dosanya. And, sorry, I'm sniffling, I'm sneezing. Bloop of this, let's see how it looks. See, this color is a very sappy, like very good color for trees, you know? Um, I don't know if it's gonna go with this yet. We'll see in a minute. Um, no, I'm not really feeling it at all. Am I? I'll show you anyways. Hmm. No, I am gonna keep the Martha green that I made. Um, and then, you know what? I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave it the way it is. And my topper color, I'm gonna use white. Um, I'm gonna use a bit of, um, not zinc, you know, titanium white. I want an opaque color, I think. You have to use it very carefully, but I'm gonna um, mix up some white. So yeah, so this is basically the layering that's gonna be, okay? Maybe what I should do is, yeah. Because we are going from dark to light, that's what I wanted to do, right? So here you go. All right, I'm gonna mix up the white and then we're actually gonna do something. Be right back. You know what else I'm gonna do for fun? I'm going to make a cell activator to bring in that green with TLP Prenite, okay? And how am I gonna do that, you might ask? Well, 
I have grabbed this Amsterdam. This is a pearl. This is actually red pearl because that's all I have. It's not really going to matter because you're not going to see it because uh, hopefully I've never done this before. You'll see the green. Now, there's many different ways to make TLPs into your cell activator. I have a few videos for now. I'm going to do this because it's the easiest. I'm just cleaning my cup out. So all you need to do is take your Aussie Australian Flow Troll. Oh, I'm almost out of this one. Okay. And because I got to disperse or wet the pigment first. Let's see. Okay. I also have a gold cell activator. Maybe I'll do this in gold. I don't know. I'm crazy like that. Um, right. So I'm going to take my little stick. And the Floatrol does dull the pigment, but it does dry clear. Oh, look, it's a new little guy. Um, but you want to put enough in. Actually, yes, you want to put enough in where you see the color. Okay. Bloop. Just mix slowly. Then, once these are all dispersed, we're going to add the two paint. Now, the two paint, what it serves to do is it gives, there's binders in there. It also thickens it up, and it makes a nice, thick cell activator, which is what you want. So you can see it's light green. There's still a sparkle, a sheen to it, which is nice. And the two paint is going to lighten it up even more. But we're going to have a really nice sparkle to it. Okay, there we go. Close her up. And Give her a squeeze. Squeeze. Okay. Okay, we're gonna mix. It's gonna be a little chunky. Keep mixing. Better. I like cell activator to have a little bit of a body to it. And you can see it leaves a bit of a trace. Okay, Whew, there's a lot of mixing. Okay, I changed the plants. I made something so ugly because my pillow paint is just not ready yet. And I know better than to try to force it, but it's still too thin. So I was kind of experimenting. I did the main bloom and I didn't like it. So I did little blooms, whatever. You know what? Sometimes you just got to know your ingredients and go for what you know. I'm not going to have a white background because today it's just not going to work. So I'm going to go with my tricorn black, which we know will work if it opens. <laughs> At least I know the cell activator works. But yeah, like if you have a too thin of a pillow, this is a good example of what's gonna happen. It slides everywhere, it's gross. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? So now I can actually, because it's a black background, layer a bit differently. Um, cause obviously I don't need the black on the bottom. So what am I going to do on the bottom? Why don't I start with Rose? I'm just going to kind of go with the flow here. Okay. It's obviously going to have a different look than what I intended, but it's what happens sometimes, you know? Um, what are we going to do next? Why don't I do my smoky perks? Okay. Then I'll do sequins. I really need that sangria. You know what? Maybe I'll do a bit of the black and the sangria on top. Just like a touch. You know what I mean? Um, okay. So far so good. Uh, I'll do a bit of my Martha Green. Oh, 
this works out better. Because the colors I like, oh, you know, maybe I didn't even need my Martha Green. Because I don't have any more piggies. Okay, on top of Martha Green then, I'm just going to do my Prenite. It'll be double green, I guess, right? Here we go. Wish me luck. Okay, kind of cute, right? The middle's pretty. Definitely better cell structure when your pillow paint is nice. Okay, let's do it. I have a little bloop here of something. A little bloop here of something. All right, whatever, let's do it. Okay. Really, actually, pretty looking cells, but I just want her to move a bit down over here. Okay. The multicolor action is nice of those cells oh it's really warm too okay i'm gonna tilt her down a bit because she's not moving down this way she's a bit wonky but she's cute i mean these cells are Really nice. Okay, let's keep going. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, let's put her down a bit more. Composition is hard to control, but very important, isn't it? I'm glad, I'm glad I redid her. I'm glad I kind of, you know, I'm gonna give her one more spin. Um, I think she's pretty. I think the cells are really nice. I think she's like fiery and really cool. I do want her to come down a little bit more this way if she can thanks for sticking with me guys that was quite dramatic i'll say okay yeah i like her definitely there we go a little buble here um like the cells and the multicolor of the cells and the sparkle, really nice. Um, let's see, there's a bit, I can do like one more spin, why not? So, if you like this video, if you wouldn't mind, like it. Subscribe if you haven't, um, so many things going on. Look at the description for all the info and uh, yeah, she's like moody, the middle part. I can't wait to show you in the light. All right, love you guys. Thanks for joining me. Uh, talk to you later. Bye.